Hi there, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto in Japan, and we're looking here at a 1994 Toyota Hilux double cab pickup with a diesel engine, four wheel drive, and five speed manual. That's a 2.8 liter diesel. These pickup trucks are fantastic. I think everybody loves them. I think everybody who clicked on this video loves them at least. Nah, I think everybody likes them. This one was bought from auction here in Japan for export to the USA. And we don't see these all the time, so today's a special day for me. You can find the Hilux Surf, that one, all day long here in Japan. But these four-door pickups, uh, they're pretty rare. They continue to hold a really high value, and you're pretty lucky if you can find one. This one's not in perfect condition, but it's still in pretty good condition. Definitely worth uh, putting some money into it. And something like this will never be worth less than it is right now or until it rusts away and the rust on this one is pretty reasonable i would say now i'm going to check this out and i'm going to check out the body interior this is a post purchase inspection a video i'm just going to turn the engine off because diesel engines tend to be loud we'll come back to the interior there so from what I've seen, these 3L engines are quite reliable. The timing belt for this one was changed at 100,000 kilometers and it's only at uh, just over 110,000 right now. 117, ooh, let me just check that, 117,942. This is the original blue for it. Coolant and the oil both look to be okay. This is a dual battery version. These batteries were changed in 2017 according to what is written on them at 150,000 kilometers. Really no problems inside here. Nothing much to say, so I'll lower the hood. And I've always wanted to have one of these, having kind of grew up with a Toyota pickup truck, as in like my third car when I was quite young was one. I used to deliver pizzas in it, it was a 4x4, and used to take a 4x4 and loved it to death, and have always loved these ones here. Especially having the, the, the double cab there, you get less usable of a bed, but Oh, it's still so cool. And I love my Toyota trucks so much that <laughs> I guess you could say that we have our own Toyota truck. That was kind of a dumb idea to, <laughs> to show that when there's this much awesomeness over here. Not that I don't like the BB. I absolutely adore it, but I really love these. Okay, so let's uh, quickly go and translate the auction sheet and then I'll show the rest of the vehicle. Pay attention to this for the condition because this is the report given from the auction inspectors. So it's a 94 Hilux SSR X. It's auction grade R because it's been in an accident, and interior C. Power steering, power windows, original blue, 5 speed manual, AC, I checked the AC and it works. And I checked all the basic mechanics of it, uh, and it, it all looks to be in pretty good shape. But these are very, very reliable trucks, and so I didn't expect any different. So front accident has been repaired, including the replacement of the hood and the front fender, and then some bad quality paint over here. Now. I did notice bad paint on the truck. It's really not that bad, but it kind of, you know, you would, on a car, you would want better paint when it's repainted. But the fact that it's on a truck, that kind of gives it a little bit more leeway because these trucks are rough and tough and they do rough and tough things. And if they don't look great, that's fine. Let me run over. Oh, that's mine. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He's going to want to talk to me. It's sort of like a sumo wrestler. Like, not the most beautiful men in the world, unless that's your thing. Except they're going to mess you up. That's what this truck is. Okay, so uh, steering wheel wear. Carpet is dirty, seat saggy, and uh, a seam is pulled. Audio has been removed. Dashboard is cracked. That's one of the bad things about it, because you can't get a dashboard outside of Japan. Even in Japan, I don't know if you'd be able to find the same dashboard because these are really not common. Core support section and right front inner panel bent. That's accident damage that has been repaired. Um, wheels have rust on them. I wonder what that guy's doing. You shouldn't park there. Sumimasen. Asoko dei. Keitora no ushiro. Oh. Okay. This is your Japanese lesson for the day. Okay, underside has been painted. This scares me a little bit, underside painted, but no matter what the rust level is underneath, you wouldn't be able to tell because it has been painted. 
Now I looked at all of the good bits. I couldn't find anything that uh, is concerning. If you take a look inside here, see the frame has been painted. Everything looks to be okay, but usually people would do that in order to kind of prep the car for sale and or hide what looks kind of worse than it actually is. Really take a look at that and get anything repaired prior to using this vehicle is my recommendation. Okay, so the bed area, scratch dents, repairs, rust in it, various scratches, dents, repairs on the car. And then if you look at this diagram section here, that's a lot of damage. Cracked tail light, bad paint, dents basically all over, a little bit of rust here and there. And so our website explains what all of those marks mean. Okay, so the ones around here, and have to say I love the color of this. I've never seen one in Japan in this color. They usually, for some reason, come in red. I don't know why there are so many red ones. And then it's not the red that you would be like, wow, that looks like a Ferrari pickup truck. <laughs> it's, it's like the the red of the, uh, the dashboard of the 1986 Toyota Celica. Like it's a burgundy color that usually lowers the value of cars when it's painted in that color. Okay, so no body rust on it except for inside the bed. And so that's a pretty huge plus. These are old vehicles now, 25 years old. Well, I'm from Canada, so the Toyota truck started rusting after they were 10 years old. Here in Japan, it's a little bit better, but it would be worse than like the Southern United States. Okay, so uh, condition here. So this front bumper here and the grill and the headlight surrounds, uh, they all have fade of the chrome and then some rust on here, some rust down here. Got a dent in the front bumper down there. Paint on the hood is kind of bad. Like if you look here. Fender mirror. Now the reason for this is because a lot of uh, roads in Japan are pretty tight. It gives you a good idea of how far you are away from this edge. And there's another car of mine. Jeez. Awesome to go here. We have a full lot. <laughs> so it's not good to have all these cars come in. Now going down here, it, it generally looks pretty good. You can see a few of the dents. I got another video for the owner of this. This part here is uh, a battery dripped battery acid on this and has eaten the paint or brake fluid or something that eats paint. I love the rear overhang. It's so tall that you're not going to get caught up on anything when you're off-roading. And the front overhang is so short from like the front wheels are right at the very beginning of the truck. The only thing I'd like better than this is the Land Cruiser trucks, and unfortunately they didn't sell them in Japan until 2015. Konnichiwa! Otsukare sama desu! So we got rust over here. And that one looks a little bit serious. So careful with that. And then this has been painted over with like the spray paint color match. Let's see if we can open this tailgate. Well, I can't open it. I don't, and I don't know how it locks. It feels like it's locked. Toyota Hilux. Shizuoka Toyota. Shizuoka is a fantastic area. It's where Mount Fuji is. This truck has probably driven on Mount Fuji. That's kind of cool if you think about it. I do very much like this original bar. Scratch here. Some scratches around here and some fade. and some BBS wheels. Oh, wrong car. Okay, so going in here. Sign this car. Sorry, you, you don't get uh, to see what I'm saying in Japanese, unless you know Japanese. Okay, so here's where the seam pole is. The piping has come out. Pretty minor, I'd say. Otherwise, the seat looks pretty good, I would say. We got a sign for this. Thank you. I got a sign for this one, too. Okay.
あとはほとんど聞くないあ疲れたもうずっと全然動かないんだよねあそう<笑>あのー、結局さ OK, well, I'm going to continue until he gives me that piece of paper. This is the weirdest video for YouTube in the world. Arigatou gozaimasu. OK, so taking a look in here, of course, the five speed manual. This one here is your high gear range and low gear range. So, this will help you crawl up the mountains if you need to. Again, on this side here, seats are in good condition. Now, the, the back seats on these are pretty small, to be honest.、Um, Let's give you a quick little. And so you get in here. I'm 5'10 or 178 centimeters. There's me. And there's me there. Now I can go like this, wide stance version, so I can sink my butt down a bit. And then I get a little bit more room inside. But kind of Japanese JDM style seats. Meant for a market that doesn't have huge people. I think it's okay to say that, isn't it? I don't know. And going into here, so the power steering is good, clutch is good. These have a very dependable clutch, in my experience, even if you're bad at driving. This is pretty normal. You can see the cracks here. One, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty normal stuff here, not much to talk about. I love the long shifter, too. What other pickup trucks can you get with shifters? Not very many. Like back when this was a thing, they had some. But I think new trucks are almost exclusively automatics. Okay. And、uh, the back window, I just thought I'd show you this as well, has an opener here. So your dog's head can come in. Except in this case, it can't. Unless your dog's head can fit in there. Or your cat's head. I'll close that after. And this one, I believe, folds down double style. Oh, no. It just <laughs> uselessly folds forward. I mean, you can hide stuff back there if you're into hiding things in your truck. But that's not something that you're going to put on your Tinder profile. Stuff can be hidden in my truck. Swipe left. Or right. I actually don't use Tinder. I don't know which one's correct. Okay. So,、uh, also, no tint on this window. Tint on the other window that has to be taken off. Have a look here. Okay. And that pretty much sums it up for this Toyota Hilux pickup and this oddly. Different video with some surprises in it. So, I hope you enjoyed the report. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much and have a nice day.